I'm just creating another table here for the DVDs and as you can see I've filled in most of it here but there are things that I do want to just change. Firstly this year released that's coming up as text. Now that's not going to be a date because you'd have to put in the exact date that you'd want but I do want it to be a number. So I'm just going to click on that drop down box and choose number. And this is where numbers differ from doing some of the other ones like things like text and memo fields and dates. The field size here says that it is a long integer. And if I click on that drop down list, you'll see that there's a byte, integer, long integer, single double, replication ID and decimal. Basically, I stick to these top five here. These ones here, a byte, an integer and a long integer is when you know that it's going to be a whole number. A byte allows you to put anything from 0 to 255 and it only takes up one byte of information in your computer on your hard disk. An integer takes up a few more bytes and it allows you to put in a value anywhere between minus approximately minus 32,000 up to 32,000. A long integer is a much bigger number and if in doubt you should choose this one here. Single and double are used for things that have decimal places. The integer and the single are sort of similar. You might want to think of them as similar, except that that one is for whole numbers and this one is for things with decimal places. Double allows you to put in much bigger numbers, a bit similar to the long integer. So if in doubt, and it's a whole number, choose long integer. If in doubt, choose double or you might want to actually choose it even if you don't know if it's a whole number if it's going to have decimal places and choose it. All of these take up slightly more space on your hard disk. Now that isn't really so much of a problem these days but it used to cause a problem when we were much more limited in space. So you don't have to be quite as cautious. For this I'm just going to go for an integer. I know it's not going to be a very big number being the year released so I'm just going to choose that. One useful thing to be able to do here is if you press F1, it will bring up the help on my Microsoft Office, and I've just done that. And it comes up to the side here, so I'm just going to move across so that we can see that. So F1 brings up this dialog box, and you'll see that if I scroll down, it actually tells you, scroll down a bit far, what the decimal number does, integer, there you go, it was a minus 32,768. That's how big a long integer is, a single and a double. And it tells you how many bytes we're taking up. Now, if you think that we measure a lot of things today in megabytes, which are millions of bytes, or gigabytes, which are trillions of bytes, these are absolutely tiny. So that's the help if you want to know a bit more about it. F1, whilst you're looking at the field properties of a number. I'm just going to close that. And then it's going to come back to here. And we are now just going to take a bit more of a look at these numbers down the side here. So here is another one. The cost, that's how much I paid for the DVD. Again, that's going to be a number. It's going to be, I would choose single for this one. It's not going to be a huge number of millions. So I think single will do it. But I do need decimal places in there as well. So I'm going to choose that. At the same time, I could, from this drop-down list, choose how I want it to be displayed. Currency is quite useful. It's showing the pound sign here, but if you were configured for, say, Australia, America, Canada, New Zealand, or whichever country it is, it would be showing you the appropriate symbol here for your default currency. So I'm just going to choose that. The number of decimal places is doing auto, but I'm just going to make sure that it chooses just two, of which I could have just typed that in. So that's those ones there. And now I'm just going to choose a rating. This is a number again. It's a number from 1 to 5, very small. So I could choose a byte because that goes anywhere from 0 to 255. So I'm just going to choose that one there. It sort of helps in validating it a little bit because at the same time as it's telling it from 1 to 255, if someone accidentally knocked a few extra keys, it wouldn't allow it to go in there. But we're going to talk about validating a bit more in a moment. So that is how you choose the number data types within Access 2003.